Chase has a way with Dodger rookies or Sam Blood youngsters. Pee-wee, you do a lot of work with boys. Not work, Al. I like baseball and kids. I enjoy helping teenagers start right. Oh, that's around shaving age. And you give them pointers on personal appearance, too? Yes. A boy has more self-respect when he's clean shaved. I tell him to use a Gillette razor, Al. You said it. The Gillette Super Speed Razor. And today there are three. Light for sensitive skin and most younger men. Regular for average skin and beard. Heavy for men who like the heft and feel of a heavier razor. Each is different, precisely engineered. One has the right blade edge exposure, edge angle, and weight to shave you in a breeze. Comfortable, good-looking shaves you may never have had before. And convenient. You change blades and rinse clean, so. Choose your Gillette Super Speed Razor. $1.29 with Gillette Blue Blade Dispenser in handy travel case. To gear their products towards children, companies began using advertising characters. These characters were used as mascots to the products. Cereal brands such as Fruit Loops and Lucky Charms began having their mascots star in their commercials. Oh, good singing, kids, and now hang on to your hats, cause we're ready to blast off on a tumble-toasted trip through space with Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Okay, everybody, here we go! Where's Snap, Crackle, and Pop? The mascots were not only used for children, but also for adults. As you see, the Brawny Man was created to appeal to women. With the number of commercials airing on television growing, companies had to find a way to make consumers buy their products. Subliminal messaging is the process of hiding messages inside other mediums in order to only to compute to the subconscious mind. During movies, pictures of popcorn and a drink would flash for less than a second in order to make people hungry. Also, ads that have secret sexual messages in them in hopes that more people would want to buy their products. Here's the scoop on some subliminal advertising. If you miss the surprise in the ice cream, get your mind in the gutter and take another look. When Vance Packard published his book, The Hidden Persuaders, where he revealed the secrets of subliminal messaging, the public was outraged. In a result of his book, the National Association of Broadcasters banned all subliminal messaging in 1958. In 2009, people are exposed to hundreds of advertisements every day. They include billboards, commercials, magazine ads, and radio jingles. Whether or not we like it, the advertising industry knows how to get the public to do what they want and to buy what they want. While often controversial, advertising will always be a part of our popular culture.